It really depends on which song and what dance. I mean, it's it, it's not, yeah, it's a combination. Sometimes it can take, like, I think with the songs, while we're recording it, it's a lot easier. We learn it while we're there. But the choreography, it just depends on how difficult the dance is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is that the, the show has to has to go at such a pace. We're producing stuff so fast that oftentimes they, they have just a matter of hours between when when they when they hear the music that they're going to be recording that evening, and, and they're all just absolutely dynamite at picking it up, and they've all become much better dancers than when we began. <laughs> all right, next question. Um, I just wanted to echo the person earlier. In Chris and Ryan both for creating a gay teenager on television. That's awesome. Uh, gives me hope for my niece who is. And I uh, wanted to ask though, is there a boyfriend coming up for Kurt? I want specifics. Don't make me come up there. <laughs> experience that, that I didn't have, and I think that I really want Kurt, who I think has struggled a bit, to ultimately get to a place where he is incredibly comfortable and easy and proud about it, and I think he should have a boyfriend and they should be prom king and king. That's my <laughs> see that relationship. I want to see what that relationship is like. I want to see what Michael Malley thinks about that. So yes, we are. All right, we have three little people. What are, what are you, uh, what's your questions? What was your favorite part? <laughs> Good question. <laughs>
receive from uh, choir directors around the country as far as the show's impact on high school students? Well, we get feedback from that all the time. And one of the, I mean, the thing for me that is the greatest joy about the show was when we did the show. For me, the show was like uh, the thesis statement. Yeah, I think I even said it in the pitch was, this is a show about why the arts matter and why the arts live. <laughs> Success, you know, we do a lot of outreach programs um, for the arts, and the thing that I keep hearing now is, uh, you know, there are so many cuts going on because of the economy, but, but I got a letter the other day from a woman who said that her Glee Club music program was on the line to be cut, and because of the success of the show, they wouldn't dare touch that anymore. <laughs> The other night we had a panel and there was a, there was a woman who was a teacher who said, a music teacher who said that, you know, we really summed up her dreams and hopes. It's things like that. It's constant feedback, but I think more than anything it's about hopefully protecting music programs in school and I think to have a show that is about that, that's, that is in such a success, doing so well is a good thing. All right, next question. Um, what is your favorite song from the show? Uh, there are 
so many great numbers and so much to sort of pay tribute to. I mean, I really look at it as uh, we're just kind of getting started, you know? Um, and we have a lot that we would like to pay homage to, and I think that when we do those numbers, we really do them as fans. And I'm fans of all of those that you mentioned, so yeah. Thank you. All right, well, on behalf of the cast of Bleedy, I want to thank all you guys for coming out today.